Of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's Sunday is a uh, gospel from Matthew that's appointed. It, it follows the, the uh, timeline of the last Sunday's reading. Of, we spoke about and heard about the multiplication of loaves in the wilderness, uh, feeding the 5,000 men and, and plus the, the women and children that were there. So it was a big, chaotic uh, time, you know, not unlike yesterday when we had the bishop here and many clergy serving, uh, the atmosphere is kind of different, right? And so afterwards, Christ still looking for some solitude. He, he tells the disciples, let's get away now that we've fed, we've performed this miracle. Let's go and get into the boat and go back across Lake Galilee. And so he goes off by himself and sends the apostles away and now seems to be quiet. Quiet on the boat, much like quiet this morning a nice, beautiful, small, calm Sunday morning. But what happens on Lake Gessenet or Lake Galilee oftentimes is uh, they have these big storms that whip up. And so in the middle of the night, this storm came. And the disciples are there in the boat. And the storm, as we hear in the gospel today, is, is frightening them. They're scared. It's a very violent storm. And then far off, they see Christ, who is by himself walking on water towards him. And they did not know what to make of it at first. They thought it was a ghost, but they truly, he, they heard him call out. And so, in a moment, they see Christ coming to them, walking on water. Now, this is an amazing feat, no less, because Christ, what, being God, he is still a human, a man. And we see him walking and defying uh, the laws of nature, walking on water in a storm. And that is isn't the most amazing part, brothers and sisters, and I want to talk about what's even more amazing than that miracle of walking on water. The apostle Peter sees Christ, and he says, if it is you, bid me to come. He says, come, Peter. I love that, come, Peter, because Christ tells all of us, come, come to me, come. And here's the miracle, here's a fascinating thing. Peter, who we know is just a man, he's not God, the God-man, as Christ is, with faith, takes steps and walks on water towards Christ. This is amazing to me. More so than I know that the miracle of my Lord, because I know he can do anything. I know he can walk on water. Perhaps the apostles didn't understand that at that moment. But for me and for you, I think we can get, we know who he is. I understand. Of course he can do that. But Peter, Peter, a mere man, a sinful man like you and I, walked on water at the beckoning call of Christ. And then, uh, sadly, Peter, who sees what's going on around him, becomes distracted at a, in a moment and becomes fearful, frightened, it says in the Gospel, and begins to sink. Begins to sink. Our merciful Lord saves Peter, of course. Gives him a little bit of a rebuke. Why does he rebuke him? Because he understands what Peter's true potential is. And likewise, he knows our true potential as human beings. We can be like Christ. We can be God-like. We can inherit and gain that image and likeness that God created us with. We can walk on water. But it takes a multitude of faith and humility and our foresight, our sight to be directly on Christ. And we have to flee from the fears of the world, the distractions of our lives, that tell us that this is more important than your relationship with God. In the moment, all the world is telling you a big distraction. It's more important than you following and coming to Christ. You see, brothers and sisters, if we remain in prayer, we have devout faith and we're humble people, and God calls us and we come and we can do mighty things. The potential is limitless because we were made in His image. And so today, brothers and sisters, we hear this this wonderful gospel, it's one of my, I, it shouldn't matter, they're all great gospels, one of my favorites. It touches me to know that it wasn't the miracle of Christ walking on water, but the miracle of Peter, because he shows us that we have that potential as human beings created in the image of our, of our loving God. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen.